Alright, so we got a quest here. Catalyst awakens, travel to the catalyst gardens and use the creation catalyst. So, it looks like this is what is, I believe, yep, yeah, is going to take us to where we can craft tier pieces. So let's go over there, see what this is all about, and... Alrighty, so as you can see, Southern Zareth Mortis here. Uh, we are up on the platform with the Creation Catalyst. I have currently a two-piece. I have gotten both of my pieces from the Great Vault. I've gotten one from the Mythic Dungeon slot, and one from my PvP slot. I have yet to get a regular PvE um, tier piece. So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys my pieces first to kind of give you guys an example on what the difference are from these three variations of the pieces. So for example, we have a mythic item level 252. In order to upgrade this, I need to have a specific mythic, um, uh, what you might call it, rating. Um, rating. So if I go into my Mythic Dungeons, I'm currently at a 554 rating. Uh, in order for me to upgrade this, I need to upgrade my rating. This is a Mythic specific tier piece. Has nothing to do with PvE and has nothing to do with PvP. However, if I had the regular PvE rating variant, it would be the exact same stats. If I had the PvP variant, it would be the exact same stats. Same item level, same stats, nothing changes. The only thing difference is this one has a mythic green tag on the top, which you can see. If it was a PvP item, it would have a green uh, tag on top, depending on your current rating that you've upgraded your PvP uh, tier set to. Going back to the mythic, and if it was a regular tier piece from the raid, it would have no tag whatsoever. So stats stay the same, item level stays the same. And the only difference you'll be able to tell for the three is what tag it has. Mythic, your PvP rating, or nothing. It just comes from the rate. No difference. The looks are the same. Everything's the same. So here's where I see the PvP versions being the best. Starting off, at Mythic 252, I have it upgraded to 6 out of 12 due to my current, um, due to my current rating in Mythic Dungeons. For it being kind of low. Let's just say I had it at 7 out of 12, it'd be a 255 piece, which is equivalent to having the Combatant 2 rating at 255. So, the reason why I say the PvP ones are the best is, one, they would technically be the same item level in PvE content at 255. Let's, again, let's just say I was at 7 out of 12, a little bit higher Mythic rating. I would have it at 255, which is the exact same difficulty as getting Combatant 2 um, for 255 item level. So in PvE content, the um, PvP in PvE content, the PvP one, the Mythic Dungeon one, and the PvE rating one, all three variants would be the exact same item level. Because I've been getting a lot of questions on what which one's better, which one's better here, which one's better there, what's the difference? I'm explaining that to you right now. So it'd be the exact same stats, the exact same item level at 255 in PvE content. If I've had war mode off. If I was doing a raid, if I was doing a dungeon, if I was questing, 255 item level, same stats, whether I had the PvP version, the PvE version, or the uh, PvE mythic version. Doesn't matter. So, to answer your question there, they don't matter at all. They're all the exact same thing. Of course, whichever one you have a higher item level for, depending on your rating in mythics, depending on your uh, difficulty in raids, and depending on your rating in uh, PvP, you want to go with the highest item level that you can possibly get. The reason for that, higher stats. But otherwise, if they were the exact same baseline, 255 item level, there's no difference in uh, PvE content. To give you a heads up, I've also been asked, well, why does my shoulders, or why does this piece have versatility on it? There, it's a universal tier set, so it works on all. If you had the PvE version, it would still have versatility. So that would probably be one of the slots where if you had a four piece, you don't want all five sl slots taken, you'll remove the versatility one, if you have one. So going back to it, why the PvP one is always the best. As you can see here, I have a 255 item level shoulders. Let's say the chest was also 255 item level. Guess what? If I wanted to do some PvP, I would not be stuck with a 255 item level piece of loot. I would be given the 268 variant because PvP items get upgraded in PvP content. So currently, these shoulders are 268 item level because I'm in world PvP right now. I have PvP enabled. It's the exact same piece of loot, 
I just get a higher item level on my piece of loot if I wanted to, let's say, go do some battlegrounds, go do some arenas, go do some world PvP. I get the higher item level piece of loot for doing nothing, just because it's the PvP variant. So I strongly suggest always trying to craft the PvP version. So if you are a raider at full time, go buy those PvP pieces of loot. Upgrade them. It's not difficult to upgrade your raiding in RBGs specifically. Get that upgrade. And you'll be given these, the same everything for PvE that you would have gotten if you had the Mythic or the PvE version. You also have the opportunity to go PvP and have that upgrade there. So let's go ahead and see how this works. Hopefully that answers everybody's questions. I currently have two pieces that I can upgrade from all of this. I already have two tier pieces again. The chest and the shoulders. Those aren't going to get upgraded because they're already there. So this is uh, to transform a regular item to a, to a set item. To a tier piece. Yes, our tier pieces are only uh, gloves, helm, shoulders, leggings, and robes. There's also a couple of others. So, insert a Season 3 item from Mythic Plus, Rated PvP, or the Sepulchre of the first ones. Again, there's two PvE ones, Mythics, or the Raid, and then the PvP variant. I have um, a PvE variant here, so let's go ahead and test out what does this do exactly. These are for gloves, so this is going to give me a tier piece. 246 gloves, 246 hands. So it basically just changes it into the Demon Star for Warlocks tier piece. Doesn't do anything different, just gives you a tier piece item, um, and of course probably a transmog on top of that. But it gives you another step forward to getting the set bonus, which is very, very strong uh, during this tier set. Only costs 1200 Cosmic Flux, and that's an absolute bargain, because Cosmic Flux is a freaking everywhere! So, let's take this out, let's see if I wanted to do the PvP variant. This is a waste. There's a couple of slots where you can upgrade your um, your regular items into um, into technically tier pieces, but they won't affect the bonus. Um, I, I believe it's also going to be the... Uh, sadly, I have legendary boots and legendary braces, so I won't be able to do it with those slots. But here's one of the slots that you can do it with, which is the waste. So I have a 255 slash 268 combatant 2 waste. What happens if I put this into... Um, Ooh, combatant to 255 item level. Uh, wrist wraps to the demon star. Uh, it does increase the 268, so the item level is not changing. The stats are slightly less. Okay, that because this is showing me the 268 version. Got it. So the stats are exactly the same. Nothing changes. The only thing changes is it gives you a cool tier. It, there's really no point in doing this. There's absolutely no point in doing this. It's just going to give you uh, transmogs, basically. This is for transmog purposes. There's not really much of a difference because this is not going to affect your tier. So if you're wanting to go ahead and do this, and of course they're going to cost less cosmic fluxes. The tier pieces are going to cost more. And of course the higher item level, I'm assuming the more uh, cosmic fluxes you're going to go ahead and spend as well. Uh, quote me on, Don't quote me on that. Post in the comment section down below. But everything is pretty much straightforward. You're going to be giving in and giving out the exact same piece the only difference, transmog, and of course, if it's a tier piece, helm, shoulders, chest, uh, gloves, and uh, leggings, you'll be given a set bonus if you get enough pieces for that. Alright, and for the questing purposes, Flexing. Catalyst Awakens, get more easy peasy cosmic flux from this dude just by visiting that. You don't even have to upgrade a piece uh, and then just come on back and complete the quest. It's just a breadcrumb quest to go ahead and show you guys that you can now upgrade to tier pieces.